This is uh, 10.2. We're going to be dealing with the sum and difference formula for a tangent. So in the last section we did the sum and difference formula for sine and cosine. This is really the same idea. We're just uh, introducing uh, two new formulas, the sum of the tangent and the difference of the tangent. So let's just kind of get right into this. This will be a really quick video. Um, so it, it's telling us that we have the tangent of alpha is equal to one third and the tangent of beta is equal to one half. So find tangent of alpha plus beta. Well, in this case, we need to know what our formula is. So in, what we'll just do is start replacing what we know. So the tangent of alpha is equal to one third and then the tangent of beta is equal to one half. So we have one third plus one half on the top and then we have one minus and then it'll be one third times one half on the bottom. So when we find our common denominators, we will have 2 sixths plus 3 sixths on top, and we will have 6 over 6 minus 1 over 6 on the bottom. That gives us 5 over 6 divided by 5 over 6, which obviously cancels out and equals 1. So basically on these ones, they're giving us what tangent of alpha and tangent of beta is equal to. So all we really need to do is plug in to our appropriate formula. So why don't you try this one on your own? Same idea. Just notice that this is the tangent of alpha minus beta uh, this time. So uh, do that. So you should have gotten negative 1 over 7. Again, all you're doing is plugging in the 2 for the tangent of alpha, the 3 in for the tangent of beta, uh, and then the same thing on the bottom, and you end up with negative 1 7. Okay, next uh, example is kind of looking at it in reverse. So it says find the exact value and then it gives you something that is in the form of our uh, double angle formula, or sorry, of our uh, sum and difference formula. So we have tangent of 15 and tangent of 30. So basically what's happening is, is we're being told what alpha and what beta are going to be. So then we can just turn this into the tangent of, and instead of alpha plus beta, it will be the tangent of 15 plus 30, which is the tangent of 45. And that is something that we can do. That's why we can do the exact value. So if we were to draw out a triangle, we have our 45, 45, 90. Our sides are square root of 2, square root of 2, and 2. So the tangent of 45 is going to be opposite over adjacent, which is the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. So this is just equal to one again. So what we're doing here is we're using what we have here to create our angles to add up or subtract our angles to be something that we know, in this case, tangent of 45, write out our right triangle and we can get our answer. So once again, you have one below that you can do. Again, notice this is minus, so you're probably gonna be doing something slightly different than above, uh, but let's see how you do here. So for this one, you should have gotten the square root of three. So you had tangent of 85 minus 25 is tangent of 60. Draw your 60, 30, 90 triangle. Label your sides. The tangent is opposite, square root of 3 over adjacent, uh, which is 1. So obviously we just have square root of 3. Okay, so that's really it. Uh, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, we will work on this in class. See you then.